you, can I uh, well, go and nick the horse? No, you. It's the point is you, you can't s- see it, but what you can do is you can hear and smell <laughs> a horse coming from inside a locked barn on the edge of town as you're walking out. Hey. I can tell, fellas, that there's one horse in town. Yes. Shall I bother trying to rob it? And then it'll just oh, save really? it'll just <laughs> save our legs. One of our legs for what? An hour at a we've time? Got, we've got two people sit on the horse and then we can just drag Daryl on the back. Like just the long ground there. <laughs> <That possible? laughs> I hate <laughs> it is possible, yes, to tie Daryl to the or Ricky to the back of a horse and drag him. <laughs> I'm, I'm obviously against that. But when you're an actual twenty, you will also notice that the man who grunted at you in the bar is watching you. He's followed you out the pub and is curious as to what you're doing. That guy keeps spying on me, doesn't he? Yeah, yeah, it's a bit weird. It's, it's creeping me out, actually. Do we, uh, we kill him? Oh, yeah, pal. You fancy me out of it? <laughs> what are you doing by Gary's barn? Just having a look round. Well, don't! <laughs> it's not your town! <laughs> oh, I think he's one of them... He hates out of town, as he's one of them racists. He probably doesn't like the fact that you've got red skin. He doesn't, does he? Oi! Yeah? Come with me. Because I'm religious and I'm like God in that. So I want to have a word with you in private. Just you and I to sort out this whole situation that's going on. <laughs> I ain't going anywhere private with you. I'm a man of... I'm keeping an eye on that <laughs> thief over there. Yeah, don't no, no worry. Run... What, what did you call me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on, get me. Just... No, hear me out. Hear me out. Oh, oh, no, no, no. No, I'm not going anywhere. I'm standing right here in the middle of this street. You're making this very difficult for me, but look, I'm a religious man, as you can tell by the horns and the, the skin. The horns and the wall have you carrying me as you come across as a very religious man. <laughs> so, ready, ready. I'm going to persuade him. I'm going to persuade him. Right, look, you need persuading that he's a good guy. So I'm going to tell you he's a good guy and I'm going to persuade you. And I'm going to roll for it. To trust him, to trust him, I, I want to roll to, the, to try and persuade right. you to trust him, he's not going to steal. What are you saying? Okay. You don't just tell me you're going to persuade someone and roll. <laughs> you tell me what you're doing and I'll okay. tell you whether you roll okay. the persuasion. He's, <laughs> he's trying to convince you that I'm a good man. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so roll, so you're, you're rolling to vouch for yeah, yeah, that's big Derek yeah. Lesnick. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> I'm the man who on the first time <laughs> saw. The first thing I saw him was Robin. Robin. <laughs> right. Leave you might be a good guy. Leave you might be a nice guy. But I don't believe you that he's not going to try and nig like <laughs> walking out of his barn. But, like, listen to me. Yeah? How much? Right, we will pay Wait, you. No, 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 no. You come here. Right, come sorry, here. mate. Sorry to say that. I'll just be back. Oh, I'm saying no, I'm watching yeah. this guy. I think the best thing we can do is let's complete a quest and show the people in this town that we're here for good. I want you to be here for good! I want you to leave! <laughs> no, for good reasons. No! <laughs> we'll be back for you, you prick. <laughs> After 15 miles of walking, you start to follow a stream that flows down towards a large pool. Follow the stream uphill to the base of a mountain where waterfall erosion has carved out a natural concavity. The roaring waterfall creates a cloud of mist as it plunges into a shallow pool of water, within which rise two small islands covered with two foot tall red, green, and purple mushrooms. Several cave openings overlook the pool from rocky ledges 20 to 30 feet above. The mountain blocks any sunlight from reaching this place. Shouldn't you have a look around, Freddy? Yeah, I should, shouldn't I? I'll have a little look. I want to check out those mushrooms. <laughs> <laughs> right, it's a roll of perception check. Nope, that's a D8. You want a D20 and then add your perception modifier. Ten. Two. Oh. You can tell of the five entrances, the one to the left of you looks like a nice gentle slope that you should be able to walk up without too much issue. 
The other four entrances look like you'd need to climb your way into the cave network ahead. Boys, found the perfect entrance. Go on up, I'll have a look. Let's see where you think's good to enter. But this one here, where we got to climb up this wall. Is it a wall? <laughs> no, it's... <laughs> You can just about make out that there is a thin footpath that leads wow. all the, the 20 feet up the mountain into a cave entrance. Okay, so I'm quite that. acrobatic. Can I make it up there quickly? Yep, yeah, roll a d20 and add your acrobatics. Okay, my acrobatics is plus five. 14 plus five. Oh, you skip up the slope. <laughs> ah, la la la! <laughs> the, other, the other two of you very carefully as people climbing up a rocky ledge up a mountain would do walk up and arrive second I'm... behind Derek. <laughs> <laughs> right, right, my name's Derek. But Derek, like, sorry. No, it's Derek. <laughs> Derek. You enter into a corridor lit by oil lanterns periodically on the way along. It's all right, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. All the ceilings are about seven foot high, so you don't feel squashed, even though you know this place belongs to the gnomes. Pretty right. big for gnomes, isn't it? Lanky people can walk around in here, it's alright. So, you, as you enter the cave, you've got two options. The path goes straight forward, or a path veering to the left. Which way do you go? We're going to the left. We go to the left? Yeah. But why? Because I know the fucking area. He knows the area. Okay. Daryl, he's quite good, this Daryl. He's a ranger. Yeah. No, you do realise like you're ranger. hearing each other very well as the sound of the waterfall seems to echo around the cave. Oh, okay, Darryl. I'm gonna. No, I'm gonna <laughs> point to the left <laughs> to alert you guys that we're going that way. So you walk down and you come across a wooden door, which a, a wooden door with rusty iron handle and hinges. And I kick it in. Roll a d20 now, just strength. 19. Oh, fucking hell. <laughs> Your strength yeah. is this one. Two. 21. Yeah. You kick the door with great force <laughs> as it swings open easily as it was unlocked. <laughs> <laughs> You've got to make an entrance, so hasn't he? <laughs> You should show them gnomes who's yeah. fucking boss. <laughs> yeah. you confidently stride into what appears to be a dining room <laughs> containing several dining tables and chairs sized for small folk. A stout wooden cabinet against the east wall holds tin dishware and utensils. Leading out to this room is another corridor. What do you guys do? Can I ask a question? Is there anyone, is there anyone present? Not in this room, no. Well, wonder if they've got any big boy chairs. Yeah, well. <laughs> <laughs> fancy eating some dinner. I think wait, wait. Before. Have they got um, like a cupboard with uh, province proficiencies in? Uh, all you can see is a cupboard that holds tin dishware and utensils. And utensils. Where we need to find. I mean, if you want they... to steal a spoon, that's about the best yeah, you can do. Yeah, we, we... I'd like to call out like, hello. To like see if there is anyone around in a friendly manner. Fucking let them know we're here. Why well, don't you? Yeah. You shout, but because of the sound of the waterfall, no one responds. It's still. Oh, it's still loud. Oh, okay, I won't. I won't call then. Well, no one's closed the door behind you. Damn it! <laughs> I think. I think you should steal that <laughs> some cutlery. I don't want any fucking cutlery. What I want is a bit of fucking booze because we've been walking for five hours. I've not had a fucking drink in ages. Maybe there's a bar around it, like a like, little. I wonder if there's bar. a little known bar. Yeah, yeah that's what I mean. I'd like to go back and shut the door. 